<clears throat> Good morning, my name is Kevin Fitz. I'm with the Oregon Mental Health Consumer Association. Good morning, Chair Kafori and commissioners. I uh, wanna also introduce myself. I'm an Oregon Health Plan member and have been a client of Multnomah County Behavioral Health Services on and off for the last 30 years. Currently, I'm on the Oregon Health Plan. I'm also a dual eligible. I get Medicare services as well. I want to ask you again, I don't know if you remember, but I came in front of you nine months ago and said we had a project called Peer Respite, a alternative to psychiatric um, crisis hospitalization. That bill is alive currently in the state legislature. It is HB 2831. We have approximately 20 working days left, more or less, before session closes. And I'm asking, since this is a nonpartisan board and you are one of the biggest customers of the Oregon Health Plan, you probably have 300,000 people who are eligible for the Oregon Health Plan in Multnomah County currently. The, the vast amount of people who live with serious uh, diagnostic labels like schizophrenia, bipolar, and serious suicidal depression live in Multnomah County. So those people at the highest acuity using psychiatric, costly psychiatric inpatient beds, the predominance of those are coming from Multnomah County, so I'm asking for, your, for you to put your shoulder to the effort and use some of your extensive political capital to reach out to Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward and let them know that the county thinks that this is a viable and important service for people in psychotic distress. I see your sheriff in the back. I've been in and out of his jail uh, 10 times uh, since 2002. I've also been in, in and out of your psychiatric crisis system 12 times since 2002. I've been evicted uh, or mostly kicked out four or five times in the last 12 years because of psychotic breaks. Uh, we, my organization is all volunteer. We don't profit from any of this legislation. We just think your customer in psychotic distress needs a middle rung to go when they are hurting and in pain. And peer respite, I think, answers some of those uh, questions about where do people go who are voluntary and want to get on a road to recovery. So. Uh, once again, just asking for your help uh, to put some muscle to HB 2831 uh, and reach out to uh, Ways and Means lead Elizabeth Steiner Hayward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. That's it. R1, resolution adopting the fiscal year 2020 budget for Multnomah County and making appropriations thereunder, pursuant to ORS 294.456. Mr. Jessica Vega-Peterson moves. Mr. Sharon Myron seconds approval of R1. 